Hey everybody, this is Keith Gleason, creator of the Mighty Mascot and host of Indie Comics Relay, back with another lettering video. Um, in this new video, we're going to be tackling another way to do a screaming balloon. This is when a character is screaming in pain or yelling something, you know, at an enemy or whatever, you know. Um, there's a couple ways to do screaming balloons. I'm a lot of the times I think letterers kind of decide, you know, which ones they want to use. If you want to see my previous video, I'll, I'll link it at the end of this video. There's also a playlist I created on the Indie Comics Relay YouTube channel. with, And I've put in all my lettering tip videos there as well. Um, so here we go. I kind of laid out a balloon already here. Um, you know, we got uh, this beautiful page of artwork from Ian. It Ian Warianto and Anton Bandy, which is my art team for Mighty Mascots. This is a beautiful page from issue four. This is coming soon. Um, so I kind of laid out a balloon already here um, with a couple different, um, you know, with just, the, you know, the letter, the saying already that I wanted to have the, the character scream. I kind of laid out this word balloon, but I don't think we're going to need it because it, uh, I was going to use it as a template, but I think I'm just going to do this, you know, by hand and then have you guys take a look. So the best way to do this is um, I usually use the pen tool um, and I, I kind of eyeball the whole thing. So this, this yelling uh, balloon is going to have like jagged edges. So I usually start in the corner and you kind of want to trace around the entire balloon and then we'll figure out where the tail goes after. Um, so I just kind of pick a corner and start here and then just you start doing like these kind of triangle shapes like this. And you kind of, you know, like I'm, I know I'm eyeballing this, but you kind of go in the direction of the balloon and you kind of want to do like, you know, high peaks, you can do like little ones like this, you know, and uh, it just kind of gives it this burst effect. And as you can see, I'm kind of like going around um, the balloon and kind of the shape that it's going and, and pointing, making the points stick out in the direction of the balloon. So when you get to this point, you kind of want to um, take out the, the color, the whiteness so you can the whiteness in the middle of the balloon so you can see where you're drawing. So I just did that by, you know, going down here and clicking it off. Um, and then you can just pick it up again by clicking here. Um, and basically just kind of shape, you know, go right around the entire balloon. And you see how I'm kind of making the points stick out where, um, kind of in the direction of, you know, the balloon. So it looks, it's got some uniformity to it, you know? Um, and, you know, just kind of go up and down. Um, and then, you know, you want to, like I said, vary up the different points. Sometimes you have to draw it over again because it doesn't exactly look right. But then when you come down here, you can, when you see the little dot it right here in the middle, um, you can connect the lines like this, right? Then you could kind of go in with the the the, the direct uh, the white um, pointer here, and then kind of shape things out a little more if you want. If they don't quite look, you know, like perfect or what you've seen in your head, you can kind of go in like that. Um, one thing you want to do is you want to click these though, and then click these two options over here, the round cap and the round join, because it'll smooth out those rough edges on the balloon to get like this nice shape like that. Um, and then once you're satisfied with that, you want to fill this back in with white. So you click on this um, and then just add some white in there. And then you send the balloon to the back of the page so that, it, you know, the words are in front again. So like this. So say I wanted to have the sugar serpent here um, screaming this. I mean, it, doesn't make any sense because he doesn't talk anyways, but let's say we're going to put it right there. So we're going to bring this forward in front of the artwork so that it's, it pops off. Um, and then what I would do is 
probably take this direct selector, click this point here and make this the tail by moving this more, you know, towards his mouth like that. And then you can kind of curve these a little more to like make it look like they're bursting, you know, to give it that impact, you know, so it kind of looks like that. So there you go. That's, you have the second screaming balloon. Um, you could also do things like, like I showed you in the first video where you can make this word bigger and kind of popping out of the balloon if you want. Um, it's totally up to you. And as far as the screaming, uh, which ones to use when, I mean, I think it's more up, it's up to the letterer kind of preference, you know, whichever one you have uh, an easier time uh, doing. I've, I've used both um, in issues, the same issues sometimes. Um, just depends what you're feeling on the situation. Um, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, those are the two different kinds I've seen. You have in some artists and letters have done like crazier screaming ones, you know, um, you know, like I said, it sometimes it's up to the writer, if what, whatever they want. Sometimes they'll draw it out or, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah. So take that as you will. Um, all right, that's the second uh, second um, lettering tip video for the screaming balloons. Um, you know, definitely send me any feedback, uh, comments. Let me know if you, there's uh, specific um, lettering advice you want to see. Um, I think what I'll try to get into next is maybe some sound effects or um, or actually maybe I'll do some more of the lettering, like just standard word balloon items that are left um you know like you know whispering balloons and like um you know like if you have an electronic device things like that you're just different you know different types of things that you don't think of uh, they make sense when you look at them in a comic book but you don't really think of them until you create them that you you know you what like you either have to go back and look what they did or you know that kind of thing so all right. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, I think we're off this week on for the live show, but we'll be back uh, the following week. Um, all right. Until then, have a great week and uh, keep making those comics. All right. Have a great day, everybody.